in PCW. Pastors Ann and Gray are coming live to you today from Facebook, and you'll probably see it later on YouTube as well. We're coming at you with a few uh, updates and announcements that we want to get out for uh, this coming up week and for worship. Uh, we want to start with worship this week. It is the first Sunday of the month, so we will be doing communion. So we'll ask that you have your bread and your juice ready uh, before the service starts so that you're ready to go for communion. Um, and we also ask, and though we started this last week, uh, to have your candle out as well, because at the beginning of each service, we're going to light one candle. Uh, and we're going to ask that you do it uh, with us as well uh, to kind of celebrate each week. Last week was hope. This week is peace. Um, so it should be a lot of fun. And so have your candle, your bread, and your juice ready to go. Yeah, and it's hard to believe we are three weeks away from Christmas Eve. And we wanted to let you know what the current plan is. It's going to be different than other Christmas Eves. Um, we know that we are breaking tradition, but this is because of COVID. Yep. So we've tried to come up with the plan that's going to um, help us celebrate Christmas Eve the best we can this year. Um, for those of you who might be anxious with new pastors that we're mixing everything up, these are not permanent changes. This is just for the year of COVID. Ooh. Ooh, so we'll take a deep breath. But we're getting, we're getting excited. We're hoping that this will be a meaningful time for us, yep. even though it can't be the way that we're used to or that you're used to um, that we would have jumped into. Right. So 4 p.m. This is earlier than it's ever been before. 4 p.m. We are planning an outdoor very family friendly worship experience. So this will be a time to gather together. Um, we will stay apart, but together. Um, we'll keep our distance. We'll wear our masks, um, but we will have some carol singing. We will tell the story of Christmas, of Jesus's birth. Um, we'll be outside. We're going to just bundle up. So we'll send out more information as we get closer, but that's going to be our in-person opportunity, 4 p.m. Um, so we're hoping that that will help families then who need to go home and feed their kids and get them off to bed. That'll be a little bit earlier and it will be while it's still light out. So we're able to drive home in the light. Mm -hmm. The next opportunity is going to start. Actually, it's going to start probably around 630 because mm -hmm. we're going to have gathering music. The church's uh, musicians are hard at work. They are working to pre-record a lot of special music. Mm -hmm. Um, so I know that it's been hard on you all for not being together. It's been hard on our musicians, too. They have made their life uh, making music. And so they're putting together some really special music. It's going to start at 630. The worship service will start at 7 p.m. This is going to be all online. So there'll be an opportunity to connect on Zoom. Mm -hmm. Or if you're used to connecting on YouTube, you can connect on YouTube. Yep. Um, it's going to be a similar format to what Lessons you've been, been used to with the readings and yep. the singing. Um, yep. There's going to be a couple of special music pieces in there. So we're working on getting that together. Again, it'll be all online. For those of you who are used to worshiping at 11 p.m., here's the good news. <laughs> Once it's up at 7 p.m., you can come back to it at any time. Yep. So if you want to worship at 11 p.m. on Christmas Eve, yep. it will be there for you. So it's going to start at 7 p.m., but then any time Christmas Eve and into yep. the future, that worship service will be available for you to connect with. And all that special music will be available, too. So if yep. you're thinking, oh, it's kind of a rush to get there by 630 and get onto my computer or onto my TV with YouTube, um, you can always come back afterwards and see all that music and listen to all that music. And we can celebrate the 12 days of Christmas exactly. um, with that online worship service. So we're going to be doing also some uh, sanctuary drop-in hours uh, coming up that week, the two weeks before. We'll let you know some more information about that so that you can see the sanctuary all dressed up and ready to go. Uh, but you'll have some more information. You'll see, if you go back to your crossroads, you'll see a right up on there, and we'll let you know some more information going forward coming up. Yeah, but it'll just be that opportunity. If you want to quietly come, just sit and meditate yep. in the sanctuary. We've heard from many of you that you just you miss yep. being in the building. Yep. So we're just trying to create as many opportunities to do as much as we can while still yep. staying safe, especially knowing that the numbers right now are just... Or they're tough. Yeah. So, and we have decorated the sanctuary for Christmas. We have, yeah. and actually, you'll notice um, if you join us on the live stream on Sunday that we have a new setup. So, yes. our decorating team has been hard at work. 
Um, Tom has been hard at work. Um, we've moved the band over a little bit. We've created a new liturgical space, a new center for our worship. It's very festive, so we yes. hope that you will um, come online and uh, join our communion worship service on Sunday. Great. So finally, we just to let you know, uh, an awesome opportunity to celebrate uh, this weekend, particularly on Saturday at 3 p.m., we're going to be gathering together at Maple Knoll in the Bodman Building parking lot to celebrate uh, the birthdays of John Anderson and Barbara Bloomstrom. Uh, we're going to be doing kind of a drive-by waving and, and celebrating of them, and this is an opportunity for you if you would like to participate. Be there at 3 p.m. at the Bodman parking lot at Maple Knoll. Um, and you will be able to wave and, and offer some gifts and things to the, uh, to, the to both John and Barbara. Uh, the deacons are hosting this, so if you need more information, do not hesitate to get in touch with me uh, or Amber Cartwright, and she will let you know what's going on as well. Uh, we're really excited to be able to celebrate these birthdays, and the deacons have been doing a wonderful job making that happen. So we hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, thank you for all that you have done for PCW. You know it makes all the difference, and we're so excited that we're heading into this Advent season and waiting for the Christ child. Uh, you all have a wonderful rest of the day. Talk to you soon. Bye.